Welcome to another episode of Traveling Utah. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe, and share. As you can see, we do have the camper ready to go. We uh, are getting ready to depart very shortly. We are headed over towards Duchesne, Utah. Not sure how much of the property we're gonna be able to show you as it is our friend's property and it's private. And yeah, going on about 10 acres of land for the weekend, Memorial Day weekend here. And uh, we're gonna have a good old time. You should join us in these adventures. We will be taking some some side-by-side uh, -side rides, but nothing like the sand dunes. And it's nothing, it's gonna be nothing like the, um, the footage from Swing Arm um, that you will see eventually once I get it edited and put up here. So we're gonna, we're gonna have some fun. We're loading up right now, as you can see. And uh, it's, it's a little rainy. So this ground is a little soft, so it's gonna be a little sketchy getting out of here. So we'll see what happens here. All right, see you on the road. All right, we are here on my buddy's property out by Duchesne on the west side. Right over that ridge over there, way off in the distance, right there, right there. The other side of that, starvation reservoir. Uh, way down there that you can't see, there is a fire actually coming off of one of those uh, oil plateaus. I was hoping Skinwalker Ranch was around here, but it's actually about 33 minutes that way. It's on the other side of Roosevelt, and we're on, it's on the southeast side of Roosevelt. We're not quite to Roosevelt. So, we're over here by, on the west side of Duchesne, on the west side of Starvation. So, got some clouds coming in, looks like some rain possibility out there. That looks like a massive hole they've dug. Don't know why. That's okay. Here to have a good time and uh, see what kind of uh, fun we can have. But like I said, you can't stand here where I'm at, unfortunately, because this is private property. But we'll see what we can get ourselves into. So. So the area, like I said, where we're staying is is private. It is it is privately owned. I believe it is called Great Basin. Let me see here. Great Basin. It's a Great Basin area. Um, so I'm assuming maybe the Great Basin property area or Great Basin Estates or something. Um, they were selling a bunch of properties I don't know, a year or two ago. I don't know if they still are. You could probably search it up. But uh, we're going to go back out. It's four four miles up to the front of the road. So um, it's four miles up there. We are, uh, I'm going to go drive up there, show you what the front of the entrance looks like. And, um, and then it looks like, I think there's also the entrance, I believe the entrance of the Starvation Reservoir is up there as well. So let's go take a look. So I am up here at the entrance. It's off of Highway 40 right here. Getting ready to rain. All right, so there is a campground up here. It's the Robert Gulch camp area. Got somebody coming in. Quite a few cars here, but it's straight ahead. Looks like it's at the Straw or the Starvation Reservoir. Let's see. Let's go down here to the entrance. All right, so the entrance is up there a little bit. This is starvation. What a view from this spot anyways. Starvation. Pretty full at this point. Uh, Utah's been filling up all the reservoirs lately. So um, I'm not so sure we're gonna go in, but we'll definitely go down here into the front. So the lady was really nice, gave me free access for a few, like 10 minutes which is awesome so I'm not going to take advantage take advantage of the free time but it is a um, it is definitely a $10 day pass but as you can see you got primitive campsites 
and such. Looks like they have some, looks like they have a trash can, a bunch of facilities. Dump station. They are full, but let's go check it out. I don't think I've ever seen this lake this high, reservoir anyways. I didn't mean the dump stations were full, but the, the campground capacity is definitely full. So this is definitely like the primitive camping side. No hookups, but they do have bathrooms. She could probably tent camp back in here. Oh yeah. Looks like they have some pay sites here too. I gotta hurry. People are staring at me. Looks like they have picnic tables and a burn pit. No hookups though. Not that I'm seeing. But they do have bathroom services. Right there. See? But people are staring at me, so I'm gonna get out of here. Definitely looks like a nice campground with a nice view, especially when this thing is full. I have to put this one on the list to come to because I bet you it's got room for my 43 foot camper burn sites and it just looks cool nice chill place look there's another empty one So like I so like I said here, so we got Highway 40. The entrance to this place is down there. Campground straight ahead there. This road leads to the private properties that I'm staying on, but the road is still public, even up to where I make the left, several miles down this road. Um, make a left and go up, then it turns into private property, but. If I remember right, there's still plenty of roads back there. And I think they're all oil roads. So like, see, this is like an oil filling station here. This is what it looks like. And, um, but you could take your side by side from the campground down there. <laughs> Let's go see what we can see. So again, like I said, that, as you can see right there in the background, this is, this is oil country out in this area. But look at that view, if you can see it of starvation starvation over there it's a pretty view definitely western rock formations out here western eastern utah it's the greenest i've ever seen it here i've been coming here a couple years but uh yeah so as i said you could go to that campsite just this was like a mile down the road you can definitely tell people are riding through here with their side by sides and maybe motorcycles there's death washout areas here there's a cool washout area back down the way that i'll have to show you hopefully either today or tomorrow maybe i think this washout area right here though i think uh, we got a buddy of ours coming up tomorrow oh here comes the side by side too we got a buddy of ours coming up tomorrow and uh i think that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow we're going to do some riding down there but as I said, here's some side-by-sides. He's going to cruise them by. He's going to rip it here. Let's watch what he does. So cool. But see? Just bring your side-by-side -side to the campground and uh, you can come back here and rip around.
All right, so we're here at Knight's Hollow Campground. This one actually looks like they have some paths, not only just the campgrounds, but they have some paths. Like you could actually like take a motorcycle side by side, four wheelers. Like this campground's pretty legit. Here. Like this is pretty cool. And they got facilities as well. It's starting to rain. So that was a fun weekend. Got the trailer back to the house. Um, got it landed. Um, if you enjoy these videos, please make sure you like, subscribe, follow. That way you get notified. Click the bell button.